hi beautiful people and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi i hope you're safe and well and thank you so much for joining me in today's video um i hope that you subscribe and turn on your notification bell down below so that you'll be the first to see when i post and without further ado let's get into this video Today at church we learned about Joseph and I was just thinking about you know people in situations where the, there seems to be no way out like absolutely no way out maybe you've waited for so long like you've literally been been in that same spot for years and you're just wondering like nothing is working out how long do I have to wait and be in this situation you know and like Joseph like yours may be betrayal from people that you thought you thought loved you or just like confusion maybe in a, in a prison circumstance like you are in bondage whether it's like a sickness whether it's um like just circumstantial bondage or for you it might be like not imprisonment not betrayal but just confusion like what is going on in my life like what is working out right now there is nothing going on well for me right now and i just want to say i just want to use this video to encourage you to let you know not to count your losses not to count what is what is going wrong in your life but to count what god is doing so take for instance like you are joseph and first of all your brothers have betrayed you your brothers are the ones that are not supposed to they're supposed to love you when people are you know like in today's world when you are you have up to like 11 older siblings you're supposed to be like the most cherished and pampered person in the world surrounded by you know bodyguards but then you find out they are the ones that are doing the hating they are the ones that are turning their backs against you for no reason of yours you know for no fault of yours and um i just wanted to encourage you i just want to encourage you to understand that your timing your evaluation of the time you've spent in a particular situation is not it's as finite as it can get but um when god is the one doing the math when god is the one writing the story then you need to trust that like it's not on your terms like he has it figured out for you he's going to do everything perfectly in his own time and that is where trust that is where faith is tested where faith is questioned and you need to be able to surrender everything to god you need to be able to look at it from his perspective from an infinite um all-powerful omnipotent omniscient omni um present perspective and that takes faith faith is i like how the, the bible defines faith in the sense that like it doesn't need to be anything you are seeing otherwise it's not faith like it's not you don't have to go the extra mile of believing but faith is the evidence of things you have not seen so i am in prison right now but me i believe that i will be in a palace tomorrow that's faith that's faith is i'm not seeing it right now don't tease me because you think i'm mad I'm not seeing it right now. It's not like I'm, I'm saying I, I see it or I, I can suddenly see my surroundings change. I'm not seeing it, but I am believing it that it will come to pass. Another thing is do not settle. Imagine if like for the satisfaction of having um, Pharaoh's, no, no, Potiphar's wife, Joseph like settled, like I've reached, like this is the point, like even my master's wife is bowing to me. I've, I've I've gotten to the pinnacle mm -mm. imagine if he settled for that and he lost like the big crown like the whole Pharaoh's second right-hand man you know so you do not have to settle for the things you think are the goals right now the things people are cherishing right now the people the things people are thinking my gosh like if this is the opportunity like your lecture is your lecture is grabbing your attention like your lectures are fighting for you <laughs> you should seize it like your grades you are automatically graduating with the first class like seize it meanwhile forbes 40 under 40 is waiting for you my sister and you're settling you're settling imagine if joseph said okay oh, ah i say 
Potiphar's wife has now said uh, she like me. <laughs> let me now, uh, let me like her back. And um, I mean, this woman was offering like a shield. So no matter what is on the table, once it is it is asking for a compromise, what once it's asking for you to bend your knee to the devil, don't take it. You'll be settling and you will lose the better, greater thing that God has planned for you in the future. Be kind. Be kind. Like in the times where people are persecuting you, do not seek re revenge. In the times where people are questioning, teasing, they are like laughing at you. Don't don't look at them like do not want to seek revenge. Do not leave them where they are just be kind to them imagine when um he knew that his brothers hated him but joseph would still go to the field when his dad sent him to go check on his brothers and bring a report like he loved them he still loved them see after after he became the the the, the second in command and his brothers came it wasn't hey come on take them to the the worst place no he was kind so be kind to people around you the ones who are persecuting you your enemies someone said be kind to them so that they'll be alive they'll be there when you get to the top they will see they will see it and they will know they have nothing they have nothing in comparison to you so be kind do not seek revenge do not do not like be in so much of a hurry to avenge someone who's faulted you leave them let them go and then the last thing takes another bout of faith when things are the opposite of good look at what god is doing do not look at it as like oh this went wrong and that went wrong and oh my god like this is the end i'm going to die or um this won't be successful do not look at what the devil is doing do not look at the bad things do not count your losses count your blessings you know um it takes a, an eye of faith to look at it from god's perspective to look at it from like god is doing something through this i know he will turn it around for my good it takes faith and i pray i pray that by by watching this video your faith is increased you grow in faith and you believe in what god is doing in the fact that god is writing your story and he's writing it differently and yeah that's for that's that for this video i hope that you're blessed i hope that this video inspires you and it pushes your faith up a notch you know and i'll see you in the next video please don't forget to like comment down below anything you loved about this video i'll see you in the next one bye